We are here in the Evian Suite at the All England Club with Maria Sharapova. Now, Maria, you just won the French Open, you've done the career Grand Slam, and you are back at world number one. Yeah. That is an amazing <laughs> achievement. Oh, it was, it was a very nice uh, couple of weeks in Paris, that's for sure. It's amazing how sometimes everything comes together in your career. And now moving into Wimbledon. All tennis players look forward to being here. Yeah. What is it about this place? For some reason you feel as a professional tennis player that this is where tennis belongs to be. You know, this is where it, it all started. This is where the tradition is. This is where, you know, you picture women in long skirts playing tennis with their wooden rackets. Um, at what other Grand Slam do you see Ivy along the fence? Um, those little things that just really make it special. How do you mentally prepare? How do you stay focused and in the zone and energized? Um, you just you kind of have to. <laughs> you have no choice. You're a professional tennis player, but everybody buys a ticket as you're an entertainer. So you feel like when you're walking onto that stage and onto that court, um, it's really your time. Tell us a little bit about your nutrition and diet, mm -hmm. and you know, on the court, off the court. Right. Are you restricted at all with yeah. what you eat and drink? I love to eat, I think everybody knows that. I wouldn't say I have a very strict diet, but I think it's more of a smart diet where you, you know what works for you and you know, you know the kind of the combination of protein and carbohydrates and you know, even though I want like a, a lot of chocolate chip cookies, I'm not gonna have them all. Maybe I'll just have one and treat myself. My coaches always tell me I have to keep drinking and keep drinking and and so I always tell Avian, get me those 1.5 liter bottles and bring them to my hotel because that's kind of the only way I get to drink is when I see the bottle still has water and I just keep drinking. When you're doing something on the line, whether it's try to win a Grand Slam in a few years or be number one or get a good grade in school, I think always you don't want to regret things later in your career. So when you're in a situation where you're like, oh, well, should I do this, should I not, you know, go for it. 